So back to the drawing board. So I gotta modify this sandblasting cabinet again. So the first step I was trying to do was hydro blasting, you know, to blast rims and stuff like that and water the sand, but it didn't work out. So now I'm gonna modify the cabinet to make a 20 inch rim fit in there, even a 22 inch rim, which I think I could do it. So this is everything from the cabinet. I'm gonna modify it again. Maybe I'll make the door on the top. And then I'm gonna take out the center brace over here. I'm gonna drop it like four or five inches. And this should solve my problem. Okay guys, so I did the modifications. I um, can actually fit the rim in there now. I um, cut the, I didn't cut it, I just removed the top. As you can see, I put some hinges on it. So the rim actually fit now, but now I want to actually lay it flat. So I'm going to modify it again, but the rim does fit in there. So what I'm going to do here is cut the back open and bring the wall out like five inches more. So that's my plan. So maybe tomorrow I'll knock that out. But now I've got two doors. There you go. Two doors. So I finally succeeded on my plan of extending this Harbor Freight sandblasting cabinet. So if you remember, I had this side door. And I also have this top door. And if you guys will see, I did what I said I was going to do, was extend the back wall, which I've done. And then I dropped the center brace about five inches. So I got plenty of room now. Eventually, later on, I'm going to buy another cabinet and put them both together. Make them way longer. I did uh, 12 inches longer. See the light in there? I just got to paint it up. If I want, maybe I'll probably leave it like that. I don't know. It's going to be in the back of the unit, so it really doesn't matter. If I could just shoot it real quick so it don't rust up. If just hooked up my um, dust deputy. This prevents the filter inside the shop vent getting clogged. Okay, so, it's my sandblasting cabinet. Pick it up in Harbor Freight and I modified it to work better. So I changed the LED light inside. Let's see. Put an LED light inside. And I'll, I uh, modified the top here, siliconed it, show you how, how this works. Now I'm going to turn on the shop back. So right now it's backing. I mean, the work by the sandblaster again. So. What we did is uh, we eliminated the pickup tube and we made our own gravity feed. As you can see, hole right there. Hose goes up right into the side here. And then attached to the fitting, and another fitting here. And now we got a gravity feed. And just put a mess here. So hopefully it solves my problem. If not, I'm gonna throw this shit in the garbage. I'm tired of this not working right. I do like a million upgrades just to use a harbor freight sandblaster. Don't waste your 
So I made my own pickup tube for my sand blaster. Got another pipe welded it to it, as you can see here. And then I um, flattened the bottom, made another airline for the top, and um, powder coated it red to match. And as far as the tube for the kinking, I did a, a garage door spring over the hose so it doesn't kink. And that's to solve all my problems. And that's how it goes. Just like that. When I'm doing a part, it won't kink anymore. I can swivel it. So I cleaned it out. I'm gonna um, do some more 